All right, so again, Grand Theft Auto Online official pizza delivery trailer. Let's get to the video. Here we go. We are here delivering pizzas like, like with Papa John's, okay? Pizza this, now hiring. <laughs> No, bro, listen, 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 listen. Obviously, you guys, if you guys can tell, this is a 15 second clip, um, which is pretty self explanatory that, you know, we can now deliver pizzas in GTA Online, which is crazy because, like, over like the past like 10 years, bro, I haven't been on GTA Online since like, I'll probably like, probably like three years ago um, since I've been on GTA Online. It, bro, unless you're in like your own private lobby or whatever and you're doing your own missions and, and heists and stuff like that. Um, bro, like you're getting killed every 10 seconds it is bro. GTA online is extremely toxic um, I would say that like the first Because if you guys don't remember like 10 years ago Whenever that like the game first came out GTA online. It wasn't like it wasn't really a thing at first You know actually as a matter of fact, I think they actually did that on purpose to make it to make uh, everybody like play uh, The story mode, you know on purpose. So then uh, whenever GTA GTA online come through then that yeah cool everybody can play GTA online because um like if we're all being honest with you, bro, we all spent sixty dollars just playing the story mode. Like it, it was, it was crazy. But uh, and then the online came later. I think like a week or like two weeks later. But um, I, I'm glad that GTA did that, so we can all get a taste of like on, on like the story mode and stuff like that. And then we can play the online, which made way, way more sense. I actually hope they do that with GTA uh, with GTA Six. But looking at on how successful GTA Online has been for ten years straight, I don't. I think they're gonna like drop online like the first day. They might drop it on the first day. Or they might do it uh, how they did it last, uh, like like the last, bro, I said like the last year. They might do it how like they did it the last 10 years where um, they'll just drop the story mode first and then they'll drop the online like a, like a week or two later. But um, bro, I haven't been on GTA Online in a very long time. Um, I didn't mean, you know, I didn't, I didn't mean that to rhyme. I'm kind of spitting right now. Both bars flowing. But if I'm being honest with you, um, having, I haven't played GTA Online in quite a while and i think maybe it was just because like i never really got into it again the story mode i played the story mode ten thousand times but whenever it came down to gta online like i tried it out a few times again i couldn't even do nothing because you know i had like a uh, like a bounty on my head it was crazy like every bro every time i was spawning bro i had a straight bounty on my head and obviously if you guys never played gta online bro like you're marked like where you are like people can see where you are in the game um, it doesn't matter how many people's in your game, whatever people can see like people can like pause the screen Go to your name or whatever and see where you are and pull up on your house and just kill you and take your car Whatever it was. It was so just it was very extremely toxic. So um, GTA G, listen GTA 6 is gonna be like that, but like it, you know, it, that's just the grand theft auto online culture It is what it is, but um, I didn't even know that you can like like cuz I've seen like uh, GTA RP where there's like actual jobs and you know people are like delivering packages and like you know uh doing all types of stuff with drugs and stuff like that like obviously gta rp is very like modern and stuff like that so you know they got like a lot of um like real life things in the game and stuff like that you know that people put in the game and stuff and i'm actually glad that rockstar actually partnered up with those people to make gta rp like a really big thing so um shout out to rockstar for doing that um but to be honest with you i was never really like like delivering pieces like that would be i think how much money would you make from that? Because I know in GTA, like, RP, bro, like, whenever you do these jobs, bro, it takes a while for you to make some money, which, you know, makes sense. Like, if, if you're really trying to, like, bring, bring in, like, the realism of it, you know, you're not just going to make, like, a million dollars in a day whenever it comes to, you know, to GTA Online. So, at the end of the day, <laughs> so then I see why, like, a lot of people are now expanding and, you know, they're robbing banks and doing high stuff like that, which is the whole point of the game. You're not, you're not really going to earn, an, uh, like, an honest living in GTA Online by, like, doing these small jobs or whatever. So I understand. But um, delivering pizzas, that, that I don't know, that never really came like across my mind or whatever. Um, but I really do hope in GTA 6 that we get to like, you know, I don't know, bro. Because like, in GTA 6, there's so many things that I want to be in the game that I think is already going to be in the game. Like I did hear, which it, I, I know this isn't confirmed or whatever, but I did hear that 70%. And again, this is a rumor or whatever. I did hear that 70% of like the actual buildings in, uh, in Vice City that we're going to be in. Are actually like accessible so you could like you know walk into the building or whatever which if that's true brother i'm gonna be honest with you that's that's kind of big that's kind of sick and it, bro i i did hear another thing that that the uh the gta 6 is going to be 260 gigabytes off the bat i don't know i don't know about i don't really know about specifically 260 like like off the bat but i do know it's like 200 plus gigabytes like just off the rip which in my opinion i'm gonna be honest with you 
um, I'm going straight to GameStop and I'm buying my physical copy. I know I'm like, you know, moving from like, you know, I know I'm like moving crazy right now, but I can't lie to you, bro. If there's any game that's going to make me go outside, bro, and buy the physical thing is GTA 6. And I, and I feel like that's like a lot of people too, because if you guys don't remember, bro, 10 years ago, bro, y'all, I was there. 10 years ago, bro, I, bro, I was like nine, eight, nine years old, bro, trying to buy GTA 5. Like, and I had my mom with it whenever because like, you know, like, bro, I, I can't, you know, physically buy the game. They wouldn't even let me get it. Uh, you know, when I was younger, so I kind of had to, like, bring my mom or whatever, but, bro, like, 10 years ago, bro, when people had, like, GTA 5 midnight releases and stuff like that, bro, that was, like, the best time ever, and I think it's gonna, I think people are gonna do that again, especially, like, this is gonna be, like, the biggest game of all time, I think people are gonna legit, like, they're legit gonna wait outside to, like, get, like, get their game, there's gonna be, like, long lines or whatever, obviously, there's, you know, there's gonna be people buying the game, like, in the, uh, Xbox store, PlayStation store, whatever, but I think that since this is like the biggest game, the biggest project of all time, the biggest game of all time, I think a lot of people, uh, you know, such as myself, I think we're all going to go up to GameStop and buy the physical things. Are Like, bro, it's the biggest game of all time. Bro, we've waited for this game for 10 years, bro. I think a lot of people are going to go to like the game, like you know, to our local GameStop and actually get the game, bro. That's what I think. I mean, because I will too. So what do you guys think about GTA 6, man? And uh, I'll see you guys at the first time out. And peace.